The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. By Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin with three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. By Robert Hack Diamonds. Paying cash for gold, silver, and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy, pick, and save. New every day. And buy Bryant and Stratton College. Start college this October. Enroll now for accelerated seven and a half week courses. Classes start October 30th. Welcome to Brookfield Central High School, home of the Lancers and the site of our Game of the Week. There is a lot to talk about on Preps Plus this week. Hi, I'm Lance Allen from TMJ4. And I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. We got plenty of football highlights on the way, plus we're going to look back at that record-setting shootout from a week ago. We start the show with a super-fast cross-country runner who sidelined with an injury. An injury that's ironic in a number of ways. Brad Preter explains in our Boston Store featured student-athlete. I'm disappointed for sure, but I mean, it is what it is. There's, I can't like change what happened, so I just have to like look forward to working hard in the coming weeks to hopefully get back running as soon as possible. Natalie Shudrowitz was in the middle of a fantastic cross country season, taking first or second place in big races and setting new personal records. That came to a halt last weekend when Natalie fractured her collarbone in a bike accident. I was carrying something, so I was only riding it with one hand, and I just kind of lost my balance, and I went down on my shoulder. Natalie is far and away Tosa East's fastest runner, so the injury was a big blow to the team. The coach was like, come on, girls, like, let's go run, and Natalie's already like a mile ahead of us, like already finished. It was you know, definitely unfortunate that you know, it happened to someone that has really kind of put her heart and soul into the sport that she's only been around for a couple years. It's just deja vu from two years ago. Shudrowitz was playing club soccer two years ago when she fractured the same collarbone. After that, she decided to try distance running. Like her sister Emily was a few years back at Tosa East, Natalie has been highly successful in track and cross country. We always relied on her. We always knew that she'd be there in front of us no matter what. So. I don't know, it's gonna be weird. We're gonna have to step it up a lot. While she recovers, Natalie says she'll spend as much time as possible with her team. She and coach Glenn Gardner would not rule out the possibility of Natalie racing again this fall. Whether Natalie can return in time for sectionals and the state meet remains to be seen. Her coach, of course, would love to see it happen, but he doesn't want her to push it. Of course, with Natalie's ability to motivate herself, you can't count her out about a week or two weeks rest and then we'll start thinking about possibly um, doing some cross training and hopefully keeping some of the fitness that I've developed over the summer. Coach Gardner is also Natalie's teacher in AP Chemistry where he and some of the kids were dressed up for homecoming this week. Gardner sees the traits that have Shudrowitz in line to be one of her class valedictorians. Self-motivated, just doing all the things a good student should do and you know definitely the sky's the limit in terms of where she's going to go academically. Um, and she's got all her priorities in the right place. I have to really focus on what I'm doing and um, I have to prioritize my time really well because I'm in a lot of different activities, but I mean, I enjoy it. It's not like a chore really for me. Natalie is the president of the Key Club and Amnesty International at Tosa East. Now in a bitter twist of irony, Natalie broke her collarbone while riding her bike home from the Ronald McDonald House where she volunteers. Luckily, she's got people looking after her in the same way she looks after others. I just want her to be healthy and, and get to where she needs to be. And hopefully that includes, you know, being able to run the last meet or two of the year. We wish Natalie all the best in her recovery, and we wish good luck to the Red Raiders, whether they're running with their leader or not. Now here's Colleen Heider presenting the Boston Store Featured Student Athlete Award to Natalie. Natalie, for all you do in school and for your sport, Boston Store is proud to present you with the Preps Plus Student Athlete of the Week Award. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mike Downs of the Green Bay Packers. Make sure you watch Preps Plus every Sunday night on TMJ4. Today, advancing your education and earning a college degree can be more valuable than ever. That's why going to Bryan and Stratton College can be such a smart move. 
They ask employers what they really want and provide the personal instruction in small classes and real-world experience through internships to help their students become career ready. For over 155 years, Bryant and Stratton College has been helping students get the quality education they need for the future they want. So call now and start a great future today. Imagine you're diagnosed with something serious. How far would you go to find the best treatments, the best doctors? A hundred miles? A thousand? How about right in your neighborhood? With Freighter in the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, renowned physicians and breakthrough treatments are practically outside your door. Three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors all connected to the region's only academic medical center. Now what is possible is closer than ever. Call to find the right doctor for you. Welcome back to Brookfield Central High School on the Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus. And Lance, it's football highlight time. Time to kick off those highlights of the Woodland Conference, Mark. Let's roll the Preps Plus highlight reel sponsored by Bryant and Stratton College. A fired up homecoming crowd in Brown Deer as the Falcons continue their march to a Woodland East crown. Tonight, Greenfield paid a visit. Already up seven, Brown Deer QB Zach Bond finds a lonely man. Niles Williams is wide open, and he races 73 yards. Falcons up 17 after one. On to the second, and this time Bond goes to work with his feet. One quick cut outside, and he is down the sideline. 54 yards in all, 24-7 Falcons. But the Hawks answer just before half. Xavier Copeland takes the pitch, and he's in for the score. Falcons by just 10 at the break. And Greenfield keeps that momentum in the third. Here's Copeland again, winning the race to the pylon. Hawks cut the lead to four. On to the fourth, and the Hawks keep hustling. This time it's Tyler Dorfner straight up the gut. He ran for 210 yards. It's now 27-24 Greenfield. But Vaughn and Brown Deer were far from finished. On this scamper, he breaks at least four tackles, and he is off again. This run covers 66 yards, and the Falcons regain the lead. Then he caps his incredible night with this 28-yarder for the clincher. Zach ran for 231 yards in all, as the Falcons improved to 6-1 and one with a 40-27 homecoming victory. It all starts from a solid offensive line. Like We have some big ju ju seniors and sophomores that come up and make plays for us. And it all starts from there, that's our foundation. Waukesha South black shirt fans came decked out in pink to see their team take on crosstown rival Waukesha West. The Wolverines, coming off a defeat at the hands of Arrowhead, were hungry to get back in the win column. An already banged up South squad lost star running back Isaiah Pitchford to injury early in the game. Moments after that, Waukesha West strikes first as Elijah Fort drags the defender to the goal line. Fort would have a huge night. On West's second possession, it's Fort again, getting a block from number 22, Thomas McCutton, breaking a tackle and finishing off the 20-yard touchdown run, 14-0 Wolverines. It's 20-0 following Fort's third score when Thomas McCutton gets in on the action, the first of his two scores on the night, West would roll to the victory, 47 to eight the final. Bonus coverage now, it's a Woodland Conference matchup between Pewaukee and host New Berlin West. This one was scoreless in the third quarter until Ryan Stepanovich lunges across the goal line. Extra point blocked, but it's six to nothing Pirates. Now trailing 13 to nothing in the fourth quarter, New Berlin West reaches into its bag of tricks. Travis McKeon takes the handoff and he's gonna throw. Cham Wayanaki is wide open, 48 yards on the play to make it 13-7. But Pewaukee strikes back quickly. Colin Sternad covers 78 yards in two plays, including this 26-yard touchdown run. Pewaukee goes on to win it 27-7. The Lancers of Brookfield Central have been racking up big point totals and victories all season long. They had had their hands full when Marquette arrived Friday night. Here's a Preps Plus Game of the Week.
Time to take some selfies. Everyone would want the proof that they were at this showdown between two of the top teams in the Greater Metro Conference. Getting into the end zone doesn't get much easier than this. Demario Harris makes it 14-0 Brookfield Central in the second quarter. That was his second score of the night. The Lancers are marching again. Quarterback Riley Richards keeps this one. Coming right at us now, out of bounds at the two. That sets up another Demario Harris score, 21-3 Central. It would be 21-10 at the half. Central would pull away in the third quarter on a pair of touchdown runs by Riley Richards. This one goes for 12 yards, although it seemed like he had to go a lot farther than that. It's 35-10 Lancers now headed to the fourth. The Hilltoppers will turn the tide with their defense. This pass may have been tipped. It's definitely picked off by Jared Gradecki. That sets up a Marquette touchdown. Next possession, they're on the move. Charlie Grief to Gerard Swan. He gets a block and he will score. 35-24 Central. It's 35-30 after another touchdown strike by Grief. And now he finds Mike Thompson, who makes the catch and grabs a corner of the end zone. At a two-point conversion, and Marquette leads 38-35 with two minutes left. But Central is not done. Riley Mishar is up top. Check out Matt Lewin going up to get it for the huge gain. Under 30 seconds left, it's Richards looking for Terry Wallen. He comes back to get it, and he is in for the game winner. Brookfield Central pulls it out 42-38, handing Marquette its first conference loss. Two good football teams going at it. You always got to be ready. Um, and, you know, Marquette can strike at any time. Our offense can strike any time. And, you know, it's showing all year with both offenses. And me and Terry always have a little competition before practice on going up and catching balls and he said if we ever have that opportunity in a game just throw the ball up and I promise I'll catch it and win the game and that's exactly what happened. For more on the high school football scene be sure to go to jsonline.com that's where you can check out my weekly preps extra segment with J.R. Radcliffe where we talk about all the hot topics involving high school sports. And while you're online check out Preps Plus on all the social media. Alright let's get to it Lance. Come on! Oh! Good timing is a tricky business. A bell doesn't ring when the fruit is ripe. At Pick and Save, time equals freshness. You can taste it in the produce we source, the beef we grind fresh in our stores, and in the products we bake daily. Getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and Save, new every day. Who do you trust when selling your gold, silver, and diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds was secret shop by the media, and they found out that Robert Hack Diamonds offer the most for their jewelry. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll treat you like family. Shop around before you sell, and if we can't beat a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Bring your gold, I'll get you some money. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 and Layton in Greenfield and our newest location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options, only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. One look at Mike Daniels and you can tell the Packers defensive lineman is an absolute beast in the weight room just like my man Mark Stewart. Daniels is our guest as Pick and Save presents From Preps to Pros.
Mike Daniels is known as an athlete, but as a kid, he says his biggest achievements came as a student. Sports always came second to school with me, and I mean, if we didn't do well in school, our parents didn't let us play football or wrestle, basketball, baseball, whatever we wanted to do. So I really did take pride in my schoolwork. So I'd, I'd have to say that's the uh, no, number one thing I would say I accomplished was always getting good grades. Mike Daniels wasn't the biggest name at his high school. In fact, Mike says he wasn't nearly the most talented player on his football team. But he was always intent on playing in college and the NFL. And with a lot of hard work and a big break, he's been able to make that happen. So I really had to work a little bit harder than everybody else. I made it my, my job. You know, I made playing, well, outside of my school work and staying out of trouble, I made sports my job. Daniel says his big break came when his tape landed at the University of Iowa, where he would earn all Big Ten honors in his final two seasons. It's gonna sound weird, but my strength is my strength. My energy, my passion, that is what I'm good at. I don't have a certain move certain technique, but it's just my overall attitude. I think that's something that I developed in high school. And when I got to college, I was smarter than all the other linemen, but I was stronger than them. Daniels has received good advice from his parents, siblings, teachers, and coaches. He says there's one biggest piece of advice that guides him. I always keep God first, but um, th th that's probably the one thing I've, I've been always stood up to me is keep God first. I really feel like he has a plan. and. Whatever he makes happen is in his plan. I just had to look at it as it's the right thing, whether I view it as a positive or negative or indifferent. Daniels gives a definition of being a pro that reflects what he's done ever since his prep days. They do what they have to do, not what they want to do. You have to get up and come work out. You have to practice hard. You have to bring the right attitude. You have to study at home because if you don't do those things, somebody else is and I mean you reap what you sow and eventually you're going to see guys who put more time and effort in than you pass you up. Daniels plans to keep working hard and remain grateful for the opportunity he has. Every day I am. I thank God every day for it. They've been running out front all season and Mark they seem to be getting faster. We honor the Arrowhead Girls Cross Country Team as our Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Ranked number one and winning nearly every meet they enter in, the Arrowhead Girls Cross Country Team has high hopes of making it a three-peat at state this year. So far, the season's gone really well. We came into the season with a lot of girls putting a lot of time and miles in in the summer. So that put us at a really big advantage over some of the teams that might not have had that summer mileage. We won Arrowhead Quad, um, we won the Bets, um, and then Arrowhead Invite, and then Janesville, and we got second at Bulldog. And it's really, it's really great, obviously, to win. I mean, it's, it's huge. You, you want to that's what every team strives for they want to win and it's really great that we can keep on winning and we're pretty much undefeated besides that bulldog invite so it's great coach Cutzer believes it's important to take each meet separately but even more so to take each practice one at a time to do well every day and get better every day so when things aren't going well just to kind of look at it as a as a character builder and that tomorrow you're going to be better because of it. And then um, we want to do well in every meet that we compete in. With over 90 girls on the team, making it onto varsity can be a feat, not to mention making it into the top seven. Well, in the top seven, they're, they're really supportive of, of one another. Um, we try to do things that will get them closer together. So this weekend, traveling to Illinois, it's an overnight trip where um, they get to spend more time hanging out with one another, just not as runners at practice, but just as friends outside of practice and outside of the meets. Usually everyone has their one as number one, their two as number two. For us, it's just mixed up, and it's most people would think that's kind of weird, but I think it's just cool that if someone has a good race, they'll be our number one. If they have a bad race, they could be our number seven. Like, it just depends on the week. Every week, you know, we never know who's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. We're all switching around, so... We're pretty, pretty close and like a family. And having so many top runners is a huge advantage, especially when you're going for your third consecutive state title. 
You know that there's a lot of programs that want to win as well, obviously. Um, and it's very difficult to repeat and it's very hard to repeat. Oh, that'd be so amazing. That'd be just the topping on the cake for my senior year to win a third. That'd be awesome. Especially as a senior for me, I'd, I'd, I would be ecstatic. I would probably, I don't know what I would do, but I would cry. Congratulations, girls, for being the Robert Pack Diamonds Team of the Week! <laughs> If you like touchdowns, you have to stick around. We're going to take a look back at the highest scoring game in state football history, next on Preps Plus. If you have young kids, we know how hard it can be to raise them and go to college. That's why Bryant and Stratton College offers a wonderful solution, our children's college. It's a safe, friendly, nurturing environment right on campus where your children can learn basic educational foundations while you're in class. So you can stop worrying and really focus on your studies. The Children's College at Bryant and Stratton College. Now you can earn your college degree and take great care of your family too. Call now. For every product, there's a window of opportunity. The right time to catch it, cut it, pick it, and bake it. At Pick and Save, that's why we continuously stock and prepare fresh foods in our stores daily, getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and Save, new every day. Who do you trust when buying your jewelry? Brad Gilbert here, and I can tell you at Robert Hack Diamonds, we will treat you fair and like family. We have thousands of diamonds in stock, thousands of pieces of jewelry, and prices from under $50 to over $50,000. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds for a relaxed and enjoyable jewelry buying experience. Shop around before you buy. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 in Layton and Greenfield, and our new location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds. Did you know up to 3.8 million sports and recreation concussions happen every year in the U.S.? Joining us now to talk about concussions is Dr. Megan Noon, a sports medicine physician at the Fredert and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center. Dr. Noon, thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. What is a concussion? A concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury in which the brain function is altered. It can occur with a direct blow to the head, also when the upper body or head is roughly shaken. Symptoms associated with concussions include headaches, dizziness, fatigue. You may just feel mentally foggy or not yourself. And talk about how concussions are treated. First of all, if you have a concussion or you think that your teammate or player has a concussion, they should be pulled from play. Mm -hmm. They should not return to play until they are medically cleared, and this has been usually symptom-free for at least a week. Dr. Noon, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports. Last week we showed you highlights of that epic showdown between Wisconsin Lutheran and Oconomowoc, but it was hard to give that record setting game justice in the time we had. So tonight we show you the highest scoring game that most of us will ever see, the most combined points in Wisconsin high school football history. Here's the Preps Plus Spotlight. You know, it's kind of hard to explain, but I mean, nobody could stop each other. It was long, it was draining, it was three and a half hours or something like that, they said, and longer than an NFL game, so it, was, it is what it is. It was a storm, but it was, it was a lot of fun, too. Was it awesome offense or awful defense? When Oconomowoc outlasted Wisconsin Lutheran 84 to 82, 
It was a contest no one in attendance will soon forget. It was kind of like a video game. I mean, I was I was told that before where it's like you looked like you guys were in Madden or something just running around out there. But I mean, it was honestly one of the coolest feelings. It was like we go out on the field and we know we're going to score. I mean, we, just, we were just confident like they can't stop us. We know we're going to score. The numbers were staggering. The 166 total points scored topped the previous record as listed on the Wisconsin Football Coaches Association website by 33 points. Of the 24 touchdowns scored, 11 of them were plays of more than 30 yards. 13 different players scored touchdowns, including four guys who scored two or more TDs in the game. Oconomowoc QB Canton Larson scored four rushing touchdowns and passed for four more. I'm not big on stats, I'm just big on wins, and I help my team get a win, and that's, that's, that's my main goal, is just to help the team in any way I can get a win. The players may not have been the only people exhausted after this epic shootout. If the Oconomowoc cheerleaders and mascot, after each touchdown, did the number of push-ups equal to their team's point total at the time, they would have done 546 push-ups. Both teams have now moved on with their seasons, having already played their next game. Wisconsin Lutheran wanted to put this one in the past quickly, but Larson says the Vikings had nothing to be ashamed of. They put up 82, you guys gotta remember that. I mean, it was 84 to 82, and they put up 82 points on us. Regardless of the score, the win was huge for Oconomowoc to beat perennial power Wisco. Now the conference race will be decided soon, but when the season is long past, people will still remember this game. I didn't realize what people were doing, but they came out on the track and they were taking pictures of the scoreboard. And when I was talking to my team, I'm like, what are all those people doing? And then finally when people came over and I started doing the newspaper interviews and things like that, they said the state record. Thanks for joining us this week. And Lance, just two more weeks left in the high school football season. We'll have plenty of highlights and all the exciting matchups next Sunday night. Until then, I'm Lance Allen. And I'm Mark Stewart. We'll see you next week on Preps Plus. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. By Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. With three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Pay cash for gold, silver, and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy Pick and Save. New every day. And buy Bryant and Stratton College. Start college this October. Enroll now for accelerated seven and a half week courses. Classes start October 30th.